Hey everyone, can you believe it? The time has already come for you all to submit the third stage of the Conrad Challenge, the innovation stage. You all have been working so hard for the past few months to develop these materials, and we at the Conrad Challenge can't wait to review all of these materials. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the innovation stage submission and help you hit that submit button in time. Let's get right into it. Once you've logged into the Conrad portal at conradchallenge.awardsplatform.com, you should see a screen that looks something like this. You should have received an email congratulating you on making it to the innovation stage. You all should be proud of yourself. Now, in your Conrad portal, you should see a review entries tab. When you click on that tab, you should see your entry. If you don't see the review entries tab or your entry here, you should contact info at conradchallenge.org. Go ahead and click on your entry in the review entries tab. This should take you to the innovation stage entry submission page. Here, you should see your entry name and the challenge category that you selected. Again, if there are any issues with that, you should reach out to info at conradchallenge.org. In the innovation stage, you are required to submit four items, the innovation brief, the innovation video, the website if you're in the cyber technology and security category only, and a team photo and innovation image. First, we need to enter your answers to the innovation brief. Remember, the innovation brief is a 10 question write-up of your innovation that in total is fewer than 3,000 words. Remember, this is the most highly reviewed item by our judges, so make sure you love your responses and that they fit within the strict word count. We also want you to provide us with a list of references that you used in answering the questions to the brief. Whether this came in the form of statistics, component technology information, or anything else that you used in your responses above. The format will be a single PDF file with a list of links and citations. An example of this document can be found in our student resources library. Also feel free to share with us any additional attachments, such as diagrams, charts, or other drawings that supplement your responses with us as well in the optional upload boxes. Remember, judges are not required to view these attachments, however, so make sure that the core of your information is in the text above. Next, we have the website. Remember, the website is only required for students competing in the cyber technology and security category. If you are in another category and would like to share a website with us, you may optionally do that, but remember, it will not be used in judging even if you do. It is only used for judging and only required for the cyber technology and security students. Next, we have the innovation video. The innovation video is a video that should showcase your innovation and demonstrate how it works. More importantly, remember, it cannot be longer than three minutes or have a file size over 500 MB. We ask that you submit both a link to your video online, either public or unlisted, and an MP4 file of your video. The exact requirements for the video can be found in the Global Student Guide. Finally, we asked for one more team photo and an innovation photo. These photos will be used on our social media, and if your team is selected as finalists, it will be on the Conrad Challenge website. So make sure you use good background and a good lighting. Let me go ahead and fill in the innovation stage page for my team now. So as you guys can see, I've filled in all of the information for my team, all of the answers to the brief, the references, the additional attachments that I wanted to share, the website, my innovation video link, and the video file, and then a couple of photos. And then once I feel like I'm ready and I have all the information in, I and you all can go ahead and hit the submit entry button. Once you hit this button, you have submitted the innovation stage materials. Remember that the innovation stage also has a payment that is due. This payment can be paid by traveling back to the My Entries page and scrolling to the bottom where you should see the Pay Innovation Stage Entry Fee. Go ahead and click that, and you'll be prompted to the billing page. Once you pay the $4.99 fee for the Innovation Stage Entry Fee, then you will have successfully completed 
the innovation stage. At that point, you have some time to relax and pat yourself on the back for making it this far. You all are well on your way to becoming successful entrepreneurs. Our judges are extremely excited to look at each of your innovations and recognize all of your hard work. Reviewing this stage takes our judges several weeks because they're gonna give you some really good feedback about each of your innovations. So check your email to be on the lookout for that. Till then, keep working on your creations and I can't wait to see some of your teams at the Power Pitch stage. Thank you guys for joining me on these walkthroughs and I hope they were all helpful.